Hi there, Her Plant Girl here. If you're new to my channel, I uh, garden in Saskatchewan, Canada, uh, which is a short season climate. We get about 110 frost free days, so I am well into the second half of my season here, and it's time to harvest some garlic. So it's hard to tell, but behind me in this mishmash bed of uh, many things, I have some garlic that I planted last fall. And uh, it's hard neck ga garlic, so it's grown escape, which has twirled around, um, made a circle, and then it started to straighten back out again. And that's usually a pretty good indication that the heads are ready to be harvested. Um, so this is garlic that I grew from cloves um, off of garlic that I had harvested out of my garden last year. And uh, I'm really eager to see how it's doing. I only had about half of it come back up, which is an odd year for me. I usually have really good garlic production. Um, but we had kind of a different winter too, so you never know how things are going to turn out and the weather always dictates that. Uh, so it's a really full bed in here. I have a lot of cauliflower, broccoli, I have summer squash, eggplant. I'm not even sure what all is behind me anymore. But uh, so I'll try and bring you in as much as possible to see what I'm doing. But uh, all I'm going to need to do this is I have a basket to put my garlic in. I have some gloves just because uh, the ground might be a little damp in there. We've had a lot of rain, which is odd for us here in July. Um, and I have a trowel just so that I need to dig out and loosen the heads up. It's best to kind of dig out around the heads and usually I can do that with my hands. If I need the trowel, I can do that. If you just yank on the stem of the garlic, you might wind up ripping it off the head and leaving the head in the ground. Uh, when, you garlic, when you harvest garlic, you wanna leave the stem intact. And once I get them all harvested, I'll show you what I'll do with them after they're out of the ground. So let's try and get some garlic out of the ground here. So you can see this is a very full bed, but there is garlic in here. It's actually gone a little bit further than I'd like. I usually don't let it get quite this far along into the flowering stage, but I've had a few busy weeks and just haven't gotten to it. So I have a few hair. I've cut most of the scapes off because they're really good um, in cooking. You can cut them off when they're still young and cook with them and they're really good like a garlic substitute. But you can see a few more scapes that I missed uh, so I'll know where those those garlic are and then I'll have to kind of dig around for the stems of the other garlic in between all the other plants that are in here. So hopefully I can find them all. So I'm going to start by following this one stem down. And it goes right down in here behind this eggplant and in front of some broccoli. So hopefully you can see that in there. Let's see what we can find in the ground there. So I'm going to try and reach in here. This is the stem of the garlic here, and I'm just going to kind of dig down. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing in here. Oh yeah, I can see a nice big, looks like it's going to be a decent sized bulb in there. I'm just kind of, now that I know where it is, so I know I'm not going to stab it, I can just kind of dig down. Now this is definitely going to Disturb the roots of the other plants in here. Hopefully, it'll be all right. And just as I suspected, the ground's a lot damper than I'm used to for this time of year. Hopefully, those leaves are all out of your way. There. That's a decent sized head of garlic. Not, certainly not the biggest I've ever grown, but it's not too bad. So hopefully you could see that coming up. I think I'm just going to get in here and dig around and try and find the rest and I'll show you what I got in the end.
Okay, so I brought over here in the shade where we can have a better look at things. So this is my garlic harvest. And uh, let's see what I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like 14 um, heads of garlic that I got out of that harvest. Um, most of them are about like this size here, which isn't bad. It's it's not the the best size garlic, but it's uh, not bad for for a, a crop here. This would be, I think, I think this is my largest head here, so you can kind of see the difference between the two. Pretty nice looking harvest uh, garlic. Um, so now that they're out of the ground, let me find one that doesn't have a giant scape on it so I can move it around a bit better. So the other thing that you wanna be looking for, like I said about the uh, scape, with hard neck garlic, the scape will grow and kind of twirl around and then it will uncurl. So that's a good sign that your garlic is ready to be harvested. The other thing that you can look at that I was having trouble seeing because you could see how loaded up my um, garden bed is there is I was having trouble seeing these lower leaves but when you start seeing these lower leaves drying off most people will go one or two lower leaves maybe three I'm up to four that are dried off I think on pretty much all of these that's to me leaving it just a little bit long but um, still an all right time to gar to harvest them the heads haven't started to split yet so that's all right because once you start to get them too dried out, the heads can start to split, your clothes are separating and they won't store as well that way. But now all I'm going to do with this garlic is um, I'll probably just leave it in this basket for a day and let the soil, because it was a bit damp, dry off a little bit. And then I'll just kind of brush some of this loose soil off as much as I can, get whatever I can brushed off of these heads. And then I'm just going to hang them upside down. Um, if you have a, a wire rack, uh, lots of the those small little mini um, like plastic uh, temporary greenhouse frames have little racks with like square grids in them. Those work great if you can set them in there. You know, somewhere that's out of direct sun and um, not not too hot and not freezing cold. So just you know, kind of average temperatures uh, to just let them cure. And you can let them hang there until everything on this stem has browned up and dried up and then you can come and cut them back to whatever length you would like the stem to uh, store. You need to leave a little bit at least, you know, maybe three to five centimeters on it just to help keep everything intact up here, but the rest um, can get cut off and put in your compost. So that's all I'll do. So I'll try and throw in some shots of um, pastures if I can find them of the garlic hanging, but that's all you're doing is just looking to just hang it gently somewhere where some airflow can get around it so you don't want them all smash together you want to have a little bit of space between them and then just let them hang and then they can be cleaned and and then you just store them once they're all dried and cleaned up and you trim off the uh, the roots at that time too and once that's all done you can just put them like in like a paper bag or even just an open basket just somewhere cool and dark um, again, it's not going to freeze, but stays nice and cool and dark, and uh, garlic will store for a really long time. I still have garlic um, from last year that is stored uh, just in my basement, just in paper bags, and it's doing really well. We've still been using it. I've been using it uh, for pickling and things and cooking. So that's all there is to gar harvesting your garlic. If you want to know more about how I plant my garlic or that, I'll leave some video links for you, and you can check those out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.